everyone, Time to Grind here, and today we are uh, playing a very interesting mod for Binding of Isaac Repentance. Obviously, uh, we have a whole Let's Play series of us playing normal by Isaac Repentance um, that we, you know, haven't done in a while. But either way, um, you know, as something, as a part of what we do, you know, for our streams, the community game wheel, uh, we got recommended by Tree of Ember, uh, a mod that turns Binding of Isaac into vampire survivors. Uh, and it's called Isaac Survivor. And so we're gonna just we're gonna just try it out here. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I, I'm I'm playing on a normal uh, game or a, a, a new file here, uh, just to kind of you know uh, experience it. And um, this looks like it's the normal game. So I think what I need to go is I think I need to go into is it in challenges, Scatman? I don't know where to find the mod. I think we have to mods. I think what we have to do is I think we have to go into, oh, survivors. There we go. I didn't see it. There we go. Vampire survivors. So there's a whole new game mode here called Vampire Isaac survivors. So we have the sun here. And so enemies are going to just start attacking us here. Coins are the experience that they give us. And then I guess when we level up or kill bosses, we're going to get uh, items and stuff like that. So this is, this is very, very interesting. Uh, funny enough, right before playing this, we just played all of the new, um, Vampire Survivors DLC, the Moonlight DLC, which was absolutely amazing. So it's kind of fitting. I, I got my practice here um, to uh, to try this out. Uh, this was Tree of Ember. Uh, added um, Binding of Isaac Survivors. Oh, okay, so we leveled up. So what do we want? Oh, definitely Mutants. Oh, definitely Quad Shot. We can also get this. Um, so... So those are the items. So I think if we have an active and it's charged, we get extra boosts. But quad shot is going to be absolutely busted here with this. This is uh, this is pretty pretty good, I think. Oh my gosh. And I think every game lasts 30 minutes. I think it said it, when I was reading the mod description, it said that it lasts 30 minutes. Like that that's what consi is considered a victory uh, in this mod is um. Is, oh, that one's magnetic. If you hit 30 minutes and stuff like that. Oh, I took damage like a dum-dum. Okay, um, let's go ahead and take Sad Onion. That just buffs up our tears, allows us to fire more. Bag lunch. No, I definitely want Vibrant Bulb here. Um, bunch of bombs, which I don't know what bombs use. Also, I'm noticing that the mini-map is nothing here. I'm assuming I... Oh, I'm assuming I can't use bombs to, um, like, look for secret rooms or anything like that. But this is very interesting. Binding of Isaac, honestly, I feel like the gameplay of Binding of Isaac actually works very well for a Vampire Survivors-like game. I know this is a very popular mod. Um, I'm actually, like, really... Everything Tree of Ember adds to the um, game world for the most part. I'm always, like, super excited to do. Um, okay. So, this gives me vampirism, right? Damage up, and whenever we get kills, we, we heal sometimes. We got some more health here. Okay, so we're back to full health. We also some of our uh, some of the stuff we do will we'll, uh, yeah. See see we how we just regenerated there. Obviously we didn't need it, but starting to get a little overwhelmed. But I think this quad shot is gonna really really help out. And once it starts spawning enemies that are bigger than these normal leeches. Oh oh, there's an invisible one. There's an invisible champion one right there. Yeah, it's starting to spawn some. Uh, oh gosh. It's spawning little ones, it's spawning big ones, it's spawning champion ones. I see an invisible one. Oh gosh, oh gosh, we're starting to take some damage here. I also don't see a timer anywhere. Um, I don't see a timer anywhere, so I guess we just gotta have to know. Um, I'm gonna take PhD, better pills, so anytime we find a pill, a luck up, we know it's gonna be a good pill. And the sun card, we oh, we want to save for an absolute emergency. It's going to do a bunch of damage to everyone, fully heal us. Um, and so the fact that I have hundreds of hours of, uh, you know, experience in Binding of Isaac. Um, for those of you guys, if this is your first time ever watching a Binding of Isaac video of mine, even though this isn't really Binding of Isaac, it's just a mod that, you know, makes it uh, like Vampire Survivors. Oh, gosh. I'm glad we have vamp vampirism there. Um... But yeah, Binding of Isaac is uh, definitely... Oh gosh. Oh gosh, those magnet guys. Oh my gosh, those magnet guys. Um, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um, okay, let's do this. Flaming Tears. We now have Flaming Tears here. 
Um, but yeah, Vampire Survivors, not Vampire Survivors, Binding of Isaac has always been one of my favorite roguelikes of all time. I played the original back when I was in either middle school or high school. I probably have close to a thousand hours between both games here. Um, so, uh, it's just, I, you know, love any excuse to play this game more. So these fire tears are definitely going to help. I think they can hurt me if I get too close. That's a lot of experience. Let me try to get all this. It's getting harder and harder to, um, to level up. Just like every other game. Okay, what do we want? Uh, this, this, this gives us more damage. Damage plus range. I just want as much damage as possible. Okay. So it's like a very simplistic mod, but surprisingly fun, honestly. Like, I I wasn't sure how the Binding of Isaac gameplay would kind of translate to a Vampire Survivors. Um, I don't really like any of these. We'll take this, just so we have an ultimate, as you can see, or an active. We're not going to use it because our uh, trinket... Oh, justice. Uh, our trinket actually... Um, buffs us if we don't have our uh, item used. Actually, I'm just curious. How would we charge this up? If I use this, I obviously just lost all the stats. But now I have homing tears. Does this just only work for a limited time? Or does it... Because normally it works for the entire room. But this whole game is an entire room. So I don't know if it accounts for active items like that. Am I going to just get homing for the rest of the entire game? Because I still have homing. No, no, no. Okay, I don't have homing. Wait. Yeah, I do. I still have homing. So maybe every time I level up, it resets those. Okay. Um, that's more damage. Speed plus damage up. We just want as much damage as possible here. Because it may actually be worth using. Let me see. Do I... I still have homing. I still have homing. Oh, yeah. See, this is, this is how you can tell it's a mod. That active is not supposed to give you permanent homing. It's only supposed to give you homing for literally one room but guess what this entire game takes place in a single room so i get to have the active not used which because of the, the we have, you can see that little light bulb that gives us increased stats uh if we uh have our ability ready to be used and we do yet we still have the homing oh there's a boss it's summoning a boss now okay Okay, okay, I like this. It's almost gonna be like a little boss rush. We, we have gotten so much damage ups and the quad shot. Quad shot's like one of the best items I think you can get in Binding of Isaac, honestly. It's definitely, definitely a high tier one here. So, I broke the game already. Yeah, this is, this is kind of a bit of a broken build here. Uh, gulp, gulp. I think we just consumed our, I think we just consumed, oh! Oh, I didn't get an item. Okay, pressing that button. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't get an item. I didn't get an item that time. Uh, what is this? Yo, li oh, that one's a useless one. That's useless. That's useless. Uh, that thing shows us where secrets are. I don't think there are secrets in this game. So, I mean, in a bullet hell version of this, you get the effect the whole game too. That's true. But homing is a very OP. Uh, homing is really OP. Like, there is an item that gives you permanent homing, but I think it's more rare. Um, but I guess it counters that, because there's going to be some items that literally do nothing. Like that, hey, listen, that fairy that we just got, that shows you where secret rooms are. I don't think there's going to be secret rooms here. Blame the mod that turned Binding of Isaac Vampire Survivors. This is pretty cool, though. Obviously, this is going to start getting absolutely insane. And also, at, a, at any point, if the game gets too loud, let me know. But I think it should be good. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, this is more damage, I think. Oh, tears and shot speed up, which in inherently does that. Okay, gulp. We just consumed the... Uh the other relic that we got, I think we just permanently have them. So that kind of flattened out our projectiles. That I can walk on the, uh, on the fire here. This is a pretty freaking cool mod, though. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. 
Just look at the ground. Just the pile of blood and bones and flesh. Oh, those are some hard... Those are some champion versions over there. We have so much damage, and I'm telling you, the quad shot... Quad shot is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, uh, definitely gonna take Binky. Tears up. 404, effect not found. I don't remember what that does. I don't remember what that does. The fact that we just have permanent homing now. Permanent homing is, uh... I mean, I guess just pretend that we got the homing item. What is this? Two of spades? I think we just multiplied our keys. I don't really know what the keys do for us here, though. It's getting hard to see the ground, or the enemies, because of the all of the flesh and bones on the ground. And uh, for those of you guys that are um, interested in this mod, I will obviously link in the description down below um, a link to the mod, but it's just on the Steam Workshop. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get some piercing shots and have some extra HP here. So some of our bullets will pierce now. I think we're about to fight a boss, maybe. I don't know when we fight bosses. I also don't know how long, I guess I can look at how long the recording has been. Because it said this game's supposed to be a 30 minute game, like Vampire Survivors. Yeah, because you've been recording about 15 minutes, yeah. So we're probably somewhere about the halfway point here. Okay, th this is not a hard wave at all. Like, these aren't, this hasn't been hard. They're not dropping that much um, experience for us, though. I think the homing is just... The homing is making this so good. Okay. Um, let's take more health, honestly, out of those. Gulp we just consumed. Gulp. We keep getting gulp. Oh, there's puberty. Just does puberty. nothing besides make us look ugly. But we've consumed three um, trinkets so far. We consumed the uh, the light bulb that's buffing us for having a uh, active that we you know have fully charged. We just gulped the piercing one, and then we gulp gulped something else. I don't remember what, we, what the second one was. Okay, there's a boss. Boss time here. I did just take damage there. I priest this, whatever. Instantly killed it. Uncorked. Um, Big Brother is watching. I think some of our... Um, judgment. Okay. Wait, I can literally give money, which is taking away my experience. Um... I, d I don't think that's worth it. I will kill him, though. I don't either want to give away a mile experience. But some of my bullets now are like uh, those black shots. And they do like massive damage. Yeah, so far nothing's been oh my gosh and we get poison damage as well oh my gosh so now we're poisoning people as well this is an op build this is an absolutely op build we're poisoning people we're setting them on fire we're homing them on on them this is very cathartic, because killing enemies in Isaac has always felt, um, has 
always felt very, uh, very satisfying. And so just to have endless, endless murdering. Endless murdering is, uh, pretty decent. Like, I don't even know. Would this be hard if we didn't have all of these? I mean, either way, people are going to know what a good item is. Imagine if you got, like, Brimstone in this. I think there is a harder difficulty if we beat this. So we may actually try the harder difficulty, depending. I don't know. Let's check the secret rooms. Yeah, I don't I really want to the secret rooms. Okay. Um, toothpicks, definitely. It's going to help our tears. I'm going to fire faster. Magician. That's giving us more homing as well. But I don't think you get more homing. It's either you have homing or you don't have homing. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage actually. Yeah, now they're starting to shoot projectiles at us. And so now it's actually getting a little bit hard. But we have life steal as well from the vampire um, item. So... Okay, it is it is starting to get a little bit overwhelming, but we're able to handle it. We're doing pretty decent, but it's definitely starting to get overwhelming. It might be stronger homing. I don't think so. As far as I know, that doesn't exist in Binding of Isaac. I might be wrong, but from my like hundreds of hours, I I think you either have homing or you don't have homing. Unless this mod changed something, but I don't think this mod did. Oh god. Oh gosh, we're taking damage. If we are about to die, we have the sun card. I just don't want to use it right now. Oh my gosh, this is starting to get crazy. Now I feel like I'm playing Vampire Survivor here. Oh my gosh. Um... These are both not great. Speed plus range up. Okay, we got a heart there. Okay, yeah, making us smaller probably actually really helps. Look at how many enemies there are! I have never seen this many enemies in my life at once in my life. Okay, we're gonna sun. Unfortunately, use our card already. I hate to use it that early. We fully healed and killed all the enemies. It's unfortunate we don't have that safety net anymore, though. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just the projectiles being thrown around. And those guys charging me, I suppose. Uh, gulp. Gulp. Lard gives us a bunch of HP, right? It gives us like two HP or something. So we're a little bit tankier here now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Probably about 20 minutes in right now. Maybe a little bit more. Out of 30. Oh my god. So I have a chance to just kill everyone when I take damage. Is one of the trinkets that I swallowed. Uh, what is this? Micro friends. I, I don't know what that is. We have a two of diamonds. Whoa, we have a two of diamonds, which is going to double our gold. So when we get to about 200 gold, I'm going to double my gold. And uh, that's going to give us a lot of XP. It's actually pretty good, I think. So many torches. For real. Here we go. Ooh. 
bosses are the easy part here. Um, okay, we definitely want to take Guppy. Yeah, Guppy. If we could become Guppy, that'd be kind of sick. I, I have all of these friends here. I don't I don't quite know what they're doing. There's 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 been a couple updates to Binding of Isaac since I played. Um, actually, oh yeah, okay, we're gonna just there we go. We just double duplicated our things here. Bloodsucker, that's an item that's um that's gonna heal us up. But also, there's so much Binding of Isaac content I haven't done. There's probably about 400, 500 more hours of Binding of Isaac content I could do with all the new DLC. Because when the new DLC came out, I created a new file for a new Let's Play series. I kind of underestimated how long and how much content Binding of Isaac has. Each one shoots a bullet and or takes a shot for you. Oh, how do I get more of them? There's a mysterious candy. I think that means when we pick something up, we fart. So now we have multiple forms of life skill, though, which is really good. We have the leech, and we have uh, our natural vampirism. Maybe by killing enemies. The interesting familiar, if that's what it's considered. Most of the familiars, you get one familiar, but if this one like adds a bunch of mini ones, that's actually kind of interesting. Okay. Oh, there are people in my thing here. Um, we will get dead tooth. We have toxic breath. So every time we fire. Well, the whole time we're firing, there's like a toxic field around us poisoning people, which is actually probably pretty decent here. Although I cannot see what is happening anymore. I cannot see what is happening anymore. You just stay on this right side of the wall. Oh, that's not working. Dude, thank God for our life skill. I don't know what we would be doing without all this life skill. Hey, kill everybody. I think these are portals. Um. Okay, Cracker Jacks, HP up. Oh, we got Cancer. Hell yeah. Freaking Cancer um, crazily boosts your... Um, it crazily boosts your uh, tier rate, your fire rate. But you can't get... Wait, I did get rid of Cancer. I thought you couldn't get rid of Cancer. Why am I able to get rid of Cancer? Probably about a little over 25 minutes if I had to guess. So we're probably in the home stretch. Um, okay, all stats up. That's good. Oh, Tick. Tick's the one you can't get rid of. Never mind. I got that game. Can't do it. You need to kill these spawners. The spawners look different than I remember them. Yeah, I, I thank God for our life. You know, this build is goaded. This build is goaded. Uh, what is this? Pluto, size down. Oh, look how small I am. I'm literally as big as one of my familiars. I'm so small. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. 
Oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, that's a lot of portals. That's a lot of spawning portals. Oh, 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 what? It, I, I don't think it gave me time to get my item. I wasn't able to get my item there. I'm smaller than my familiar. Yeah, this life steal. We gotta be close here now. Probably have like a minute or two left. Okay, uh... Wafer, I think, makes us take half damage instead of a full damage. Speed up pill. Isaac is Isaac is definitely close. There's so many good quotes that come out of it. Oh wait, there's a boss. Hello, Mr. Boss. Um, thank Gimp. Uh, I'll take plus one to our lowest stat, which buffed up our range, I think. full HP this entire time. Not the entire time, but for a while. Sometimes we'll lose like one HP and then, and then that's it. So I think we should be, it should be about to end here. I remember talking about devil deals and angel rooms, but I obviously don't think we've gotten any of those. got a bunch of um, gold pills. I mean, we have PHP, which increases the chance of our pills. But that helped a lot, because we swallowed like four trinkets when you're really only supposed to have one, maybe two. I mean, obviously you can get gold pills naturally, but... Like, I'm not even stressing anymore. Earlier we were stressing. That ain't, that ain't us anymore. Um, polydactyl, hold me. I don't even remember what that is. We got chariot. I'm gonna be chariot here. Yeah, we gotta be here anyway. Oh, it's summoning a lot of these jump guys now. They're putting creep all over the floor. Oh, is that it? Is that it? No. There's still more here. Oh yeah, freaking take no damage from the front. You no longer take damage from the front. That's crazy. So not only were we sustaining all this lifesteal, we have so much HP, 
We're just not even gonna take damage from the front anymore. Holy cow. This has got to be the home stretch, right? I'm still wondering where the, the Devil Deal and Angel Rooms are coming in, though. Because, uh... I remember we were talking about Devil Duke Rooms and Angel Rooms. What is this? It hurts? No, it doesn't? I don't, I don't know what that is. But uh, hey, Sessie Simon, thanks for following. Appreciate it, appreciate it. That was our trinket. Is that it? Did we do it? No, it's still spawning? It's still spawning him! Uh, lead pencil, he's a bleeder. I still can't get over how good this build is. Just circling around murdering everybody. Yeah, I feel like we've definitely passed 30 minutes, right? I don't think it's the first time I've seen some of these bosses. That might be because I haven't played the, uh, much of the new updates. So is this the final boss, maybe? It might be. Yeah, I haven't seen so many of these enemies ever. Did we do it? Did we do it? Maybe we just broke this mod. There's probably a, a okay BFF. That just that just buffed up all of my uh, that just buffed up all my familiars. I think there's a non-zero chance we broke the mod as well. I think we have to. We have to keep that in um, within the realm of possibility. Yeah, the floor. There's a lot going on. We killed a lot of enemies here. The floor is definitely dirty. Because it was also talking about devil deals and angel rooms and stuff like that, and we haven't seen any of them. So over an hour. I really, with this build, I don't know what it could throw at us that we would lose, unless it was like some of the actual hard end game bodies, you know? Just puking out bullets. I say we get to like 45 minutes, and if it's still going... Then we'll figure out what we're doing at that point. We might call it that point. It's still like nothing different has changed. Okay, this, this gives us tears. Rain plus tears out. That sound effect, oh my god. <laughs> It's hard for me to pick things up, I'm so small right now. This is so satisfying though. Let's go in the middle to get all this here. Couldn't you just stay at a corner and not take damage not take damage from the front? Well, I would theoretically, like, if I was looking to the left, I could take damage from people above me. And if I was looking up, I would take damage from people to the left. Oh my gosh! 
Oh my god. It definitely seems like it's still ramping up here. Oh, full on piercing. We have full on piercing now. All of our shots pierce. All of our shots pierce. That's broken. Now this is even more broken than we could have imagined. All of our tears piercing. This is ridiculous! I'm surprised how stable the game is though so far. They're having a couple frame drops, but the game has been pretty stable so far. Um Mom's wig. So I think we're gonna spawn spiders maybe now. This is absolute madness. The bitrate's starting to die. You know you're in the end game when the bitrate starts to die. Yeah, it's probably been about 35 minutes, a little bit over. But maybe it doesn't count time when you're in the box. But even then, I feel like we should have that by now. Uh, squeezy, even more tears. The sound effects. The sound effects when we're in the item. Thing. Like, it still feels like it's... I don't think it's random. Like, it just feels choreography. Like, like purposeful. So I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit. I feel like that'll, that'll do everything. Let's all think a little bit more. Hey. Being proactive. So I'll give it five more minutes here. Okay, there's a boss. Oh, yeah, okay, that's the end. That's gotta be the end here. That's gotta be the end. That's hush. What the crap are those enemies? Yeah, hush is literally meant to scale with you, so I won't be able to just like body it, but I don't take damage from the front, so I don't think we can lose still, but it is gonna take us a long time here. This is such a broken build. This is such a broken build. I mean, we started off so strong with the quad shot. about to get it oh no you're gonna summon lasers on me I'm not even taking damage we did it we've done beat Isaac survivors here is it still summoning monsters is it still summoning people I can end this at any point by clicking the trophy, but I just want to see if it's going to just keep spawning. I think it is going to just keep spawning. What happens if I don't click the trophy? <laughs> How am I alive? 
alive! Okay, okay, we'll get the trophy. We'll get the trophy before the game literally crashes. Because I think it keeps spawning things. Yeah, it's just gonna keep spawning things. It's just gonna keep spawning things, guys. The world is gonna explode if you don't pick up the trophy. I can't even see the trophy anymore. Where is the trophy? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, where is the trophy? Where is the trophy now? I'll take it if I find it. I think the trophy disappeared. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. And there you have it. There you have it. There you have it. So I think if you were on a profile... Yeah, no, that was just Vampire Cyrus. Yeah, huh? Well, what a mod. Isaac Survivors. <laughs> What a mod. Well, uh, definitely a definite interest ex interesting experience there. Um, I was I don't I still don't know what happened. It was talking about devil and angel rooms and we didn't get any of them. So I definitely don't know if like and it was talking about different difficulty modes and I don't really know how to get that. Like say we were to play it again. I'm just curious. Would it offer us? I'm not going to play this. I just Is it just starting us? Yeah, it's just starting us in it. Yeah, okay. It's just starting us in it. So I didn't, I didn't know if, like, you know, we had to beat it and then it would unlock something else. But either way, definitely an interesting experience. I will for sure link the mod uh, in the description down below. Or you can just look up Isaac Survivors on uh, the Steam Workshop. I think it needed some other mod to go with it, but it makes it clear what you need. Uh, but either way, I mean, I hope you enjoyed. This was a fun experience for sure. If you're somehow interested in seeing more Binding of Isaac Repentance videos, I always, always uh, you know, want an excuse to play more, um, even if it's just on our kind of vanilla series and stuff like that. So let me know if you want to see more. Um, but you know, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified uh, when more or if more Binding of Isaac videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. If you want, we have a whole playlist of OG repentance videos. Um, so definitely check out that playlist if you're interested. But if you're going to be grinding out some Isaac on your own or Isaac survivors, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.